November 3rd, join me and your neighbors from all over the city, including our teachers and firefighters. Stremling's ad focuses on the coalition he's built by bringing together city leaders to support his campaign. He leaves details about his vision out. So we have a lot of specifics out there, but at the moment what we're really trying to talk about is how people are coming together to say, let's, let's put a vision in place that's really going to bring us together, and this is the coalition that we have built. I've been your mayor for the last four years. Brennan's ad highlights his accomplishments during his first term. All of the claims he makes are true, though the mayor admits that he is not single-handedly responsible for all of the success he's touting. When I stood up to Paula Page, we got millions of dollars from Augusta. These two candidates differ sharply on whether Portland's mayor can or should have a relationship with Governor LePage. Strumling says his door is open to anyone who will help the city. Brennan says history has shown that means no LePage. It worries me uh, that we may have a mayor who believes that somehow he can compromise or somehow he can work with the, with the governor and that that would end up meaning that Portland's interests are not well represented. I don't think we've been as successful as we could be um, in our relationship with Augusta, and I think that's honestly a lot of reason that a lot of people have joined this coalition that we've built. The third candidate, Tom McMillan, is not running any TV ads. He tells us that's because he opted not to raise money by asking for donations from developers and law firms. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.